Good morning, folks. The ACME collaboration is a joint project between Harvard and Yale. They're making some interesting finds, pushing past the limits set by the Large Hadron Collider, discovering some startling disagreements between observation and the standard model of physics. Jumping to Australia, where we have our first candidate for development. Pressure is dropping and the clockwise drive is visible up through the upper cloud layers. No shortage of moisture to chew on either, as this is definitively the warmest water on the planet right now. This is not the same low at Europe. They're just coming one after another. Convergence line on this one, pretty nasty. Moisture spun up by that Pacific low is making it all the way across the North American continent. Got some rain south, but the top weather here is northern snow. Quickly hitting below the border as well, starting just barely south of it, where we have some showers, but nothing major. Looking at Central America and the Caribbean, fairly calm today but the major precipitation totals are continuing over most of the South American continent. Solar wind showing steady density, and even that speed plateau is into normal range from being way, way too low. You can see the lack of disturbance as the sensitive meters begin to regain a smooth curve compared to the shock from two days ago. The proton event that began yesterday is waning now as well. It appears we will not hit storm levels. We do have small seas popping this morning. It's a story of underperformance, not lack of spots. The departing umbras have a trailing complexion that makes it beta gamma with delta potential as it heads for the limb. The central grouping is small, does have complexion potential with developing red negative polarity on the left. Coming in now, we see a few sunspot groups that appear to have bipolarity even as they are yet unable to be diagnosed properly. Top eruption threat is currently the plasma filament turning in to face Earth. Other than that, all eyes come out to spy the incoming coronal hole. Dark, transequatorial, and will face Earth this weekend. This is the first truly transequatorial hole of significant size in the month of December. Just as Mercury is heading behind the Sun today, and there are half a dozen more significant geometries in the next week or so. Combined with that incoming coronal hole, and if the fields stay open and unrestrictive like this, we're likely to see a watch score of 8 or 9 in the coming days. Still on the ramp for today, though. Shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.